We are all hands on deck with the information you need to know about the pandemic in Utah. We have team coverage tonight with Brittany Johnson, Jason Wynn and Dana Green. Let's start with Brittany, who is at Salt Lake City International Airport, where a medevac airplane from Oklahoma City landed at 743 this evening. Brittany, what can you tell us about that? That's right, Rick Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert landed right behind me here just before 8 o'clock tonight and just into our newsroom. We have since learned that the jazz players who tested negative for COVID-19 and landed earlier today immediately met with a state epidemiologist and she provided ways on how they can safely engage with their families and communities. And while these players will be under a 14 day quarantine, many jazz fans who attended recent games are asking if they also need to get tested for COVID-19. Thursday evening, Utah Jazz players Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell landing here at Salt Lake International Airport, flying back into Utah from Oklahoma City, separate from the rest of the team after testing positive for COVID-19. Many Jazz fans asking if they've been exposed to the virus after attending recent games. Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox addressed the issue during a press conference Thursday afternoon. You know, if Rudy Gobert signed an autograph uh, two weeks ago, um, that's, you're fine, okay? So how is the respiratory virus spread? This is a virus that's transmitted through virus particles on large droplets of, uh, of liquid. Those droplets are generated with coughing and sneezing, and it lands on things like this podium. It lands on door handles, and then we go by and we touch it, and then we touch our mouths or eyes, and we get infected with the virus. The other way we get this is if we have close contact with somebody that's sick. And if that person were to cough or sneeze in close uh, location to you, and some of those materials would get into your eye, nose, or mouth, that is a direct way to get infected by another person. Health officials with Intermountain Medical are asking people not to come to its facilities and ask for COVID-19 testing if symptoms such as cough, fever, and shortness of breath are not present. If somebody comes in seeking care, we're gonna provide care for them. Um, that care though is not gonna be testing on everybody. Um, we have to maintain our testing and prioritize testing people that are critically ill, being admitted to the hospital, or those that are immunocompromised. And right now, health officials are reviewing video from recent Jazz games to see if Donovan Mitchell or Rudy Gobert came into close contact with any fans. And I do want to remind everybody, no matter where you are in the state, if you feel that you have symptoms of COVID-19, health officials are asking you not to rush to your local hospital. Instead, give them a call and they will tell you how to proceed. For now, reporting live tonight in Salt Lake City, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News.